All right, we went over the rules upstairs. Maybe my commands at all times. Protect yourselves at all times. Let's touch them up and have a good fight. All right, beginning round one, we have Pignosi with the red. Starts off right now going to the body. She slips. Slip. And both girls tying up in the clinch. As you can see, obviously, Angelica has the reach advantage. Lay pawing out her jabs, trying to get on the inside. Catches the tee, punches three times. Now Angelica's got a really good plum there. Leia's got to really reset herself in her, her position. Now, of course, you know, since Angelica has the reach advantage, Lee's got to really be careful about keeping her hands up when she tries to come on the inside. She's trying to paw the jab to kind of keep the distance and keep the distraction. And leaves are liable for that tip, though, and five points is really well known for having strong tip offense. Yeah. Um, especially her training partner. She works with her husband, John Kreltovich, who's a fighter, Gaius Ebrat. All of these guys have shotgun front tips. Well, you know, it is the foot jab. You know, it's a, one of your first and longest available weapons. And she's using it well. Yeah, and it's good to keep a shorter fighter out. Yeah. She's using it really effectively right now. Leia's trying to, you know, sort of bum rush in with punches to try to keep her distance on the inside. Angelica using that nice right cross right down the middle. Leia's also got to keep her hands up. She's going against a taller fighter who's throwing. She's Angelica's throwing her punches from her shoulders, which means she's coming down on top of Leia, right. which puts her put right there. That was a big puts right her at cross. a disadvantage. Yeah, especially you know when you're in the shorter fighter, sometimes you do have to take a few just to get in. Oh, nice teep that lands a little bit on the face towards the end of our first round. All right, going into round two. Right away, Angelica is landing her long-range weapons. Big one, too, and nice. Lay lands a right hand straight down the middle as well. She's moving a little bit more laterally now. She gets tied up in the clinch. Yeah. She's, got to, she's got to implement a body lock here. Yeah, when you are the uh, shorter fighter, you know, sometimes you can't get to the head right away. The body lock is one way to tie someone up. No, she's, she is pawing the jab out there without anything, uh, anything behind, behind it, it which yep. is, is getting her caught. Obviously very tough, but hands are, are very low. She's also catching that front tip and not doing the right thing with it. There's a ton of opportunity there. If she can get her hands on that foot, she can turn Angelica off. She can set an angle. She's starting to step a little bit more inside and outside. There was a big right hand right there landed by Angelica. Angelica has three fights, one win and two losses. This is Lay's second fight. She has one win. And you can see the difference here. Angelica's picking her shots. Uh, Leia's starting to figure out she can catch that leg, she can do something with it. But Angelica's a lot more composed. You know, in, especially in the beginning, the first couple of fights, getting in and learning the footwork to get in and out is very, very difficult. It takes a lot of mastery. Um, there you go, nice body kick yep. there. She was able to land a switch kick. Another body kick. And that ends our second round. Yep. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the third and final round. Doing a better job of keeping her hands up here. Yep. If she's going to land that right hand, she's got to throw it straight. Oh, oh big T, but great uh, drops it to the canvas. And it hurts, too. The battery yep. kind of dies after you've taken several of them. All right, now she's starting to set up those kicks. Yeah, and moving inside and outside. 
So there we go. good advice that her corner must have given her. What yep. Angelica is successfully doing is she's following things with things, right? Yep. So she'll throw a one-two and then follow with a kick. She'll throw the kick and try to follow with a punch right away. They seem to start to find her timing too. Yeah. There's that one two again. Yeah. You know, again, these girls are, are are just starting, so they're using what they know. She landed a nice body kick there, but immediately Angelica returned across. Mm -hmm. You can hear, you know, Pignosi's quarter. Keep going, keep going. Yep. He's starting to backpedal a bit. It gets uh, it, it gets discouraging. You know, she's got she's got to keep pressure on. She's letting Angelica come off. She's letting her get set her time. Oh, there we go. Nice big cross, but I, uh, you know, la landed at the same time. Last ten seconds. Another big right hand there by Angelica. And that ends the third and final round between Angelica Ferdinandson and Lei Pagnozzi. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action here at the Broad Street Ballroom, we go to the judges' score totals. All three judges scored this bout identically, 30 to 27. All for your winner by unanimous decision, representing Five Points Academy from New York City, Angelica Ferguson. A nice win for Angelica Ferguson using her teep and her uh, right cross really, really well.